Good evening everyone. In this tutorial, I will show how to draw an intersection and calculate the level of service and volume to capacity ratio in the Synchro. So if you install the Synchro, you will get uh, these types of icons. So first of all, I need to open the Synchro. So I'm opening the Synchro. So here is the window of my Synchro and you see in the right hand side, I have some tools. So from that tools, I will create the intersection roads and lanes and all other stuff so to create a typical intersection i need an horizontal and a vertical uh, links so to create the links in the right hand side toolbox i i will select this uh, icon this is a road with a green plus icon it's called add link so i am clicking on it left button and now to create the links uh, in the field so i need to click on the left button and then again click on the left button so the horizontal link or road is cre created and doing the same procedures uh, for the vertical roads so our base one basic uh, roadway intersection is created so i need to create the lanes in the east of the roads so in our original intersection we have uh, all all of the roads have three directions that means left turn through and right turns flow so in the model or in synchro i will create uh, three directions in all of the roads first i uh, click on the nodes here and then double click on it and a pop-up window will appear and it will give me the details about the nodes and at the top there is four directions uh, this direction indicates the road uh, details are from left to right this one is right to left and this one is uh, top to bottom so actually this one is eastbound westbound northbound and southbound so first i will create the links in the eastbound so for eastbound i am creating three directions and i can keep the name of the road as eastbound so uh, next I will create another road and I can give its name as westbound and also I am creating the left turn through and the right turns. Next I am uh, working on the northbound so first I would like to keep the name as northbound NB and creating the left turning lane through lane and right turning lane. So it's pretty much simple just you need to click on the uh, space over here and select the first arrow and the last i will create uh, the uh, lens in the southbound so left turn through and right turns so you see our basically our lens are created so i can uh, use the wheeler of the mouse to zoom it and also the hand tools to see it but you, you did you notice that uh, the outgoing traffic from that intersection is one lane only so i would like to create a two lane so that it can looks better so i am releasing the hand tools and click on the lens and double click on it you see the lens and sharing is only one arrow that means one road so i am selecting the two arrow so now it has uh, two uh, directional flow from the intersection and i am doing the same things for other roadway two so i'm selecting the two directions well now my roads looks like better the intersection looks really good now so we, i have not bound i have three additional floor left through right and from westbound left through right and from southbound left through right and from eastbound left through right now i in my next step is to input the traffic volume so in order to input the traffic volume i'm making two windows so that i can easily do that and also just okay so in order to input the traffic volume i just need to click any arrow over here and you see 
uh, the traffic volume settings is every here and it asks the traffic volume so for northbound my left turn is 115 so i am inputting 115 through is 685 then right turn is 55 next go to southbound uh, my southbound left turn is 65 through is 525 and right turn is 40 next go to the uh, southbound and in case of southbound this one is my left turn and left turn is 115 and uh, through is 635 and right turn is 75 so actually the right turn this one is actually the right turn arrow here so next is go to the eastbound similarly my left turn is 80 through is 580 and right turn is 45 okay okay that's all so we have inputted all of the traffic films over here and if you would like to reduce uh, the, the letter or the number over here you can go to go to options then go to map settings and you see the arrow diagram is given as 40 just make it as 30 and click on ok so your letter is uh, now a little bit smaller so our next task is to calculate or estimate the level of service of each uh, directions or in the overall intersection so in order to get the level of service for each direction I need to click on the nodes that means uh, the intersection just um, left click on there and it will select that node of the intersection and from the top left uh, you'll see one option is called signal and timing or timing signal or from keyboard you can press f5 and it will give you the directions is directions like eastbound westbound northbound southbound and at the bottom you'll see the volume to capacity ratio so for each direction you will get the volume to capacity ratio from this row and also the level of service the level of service is given here CCA, BCA like uh, for the left turn in the eastbound the level of service is C but the right turn for this bound the level of service is A. So from here you can easily know the level of service and volume to capacity ratio. Also uh, if you'd like to know the level of service for the overall intersection you just need to click on the LOS icon from the right hand tool so if you click that you will see a C that means um, the level of service of this intersection is C okay so our primary task that means creating of level of uh, creating of the intersection and showing the level of service and volume to capacity ratio is complete so now I can also show some animations like how the vehicles will smooth like so just zoom it a little bit and from the top you'll see sim traffic animation click on it in that case you need to save your model so I'm going to save it as my tutorial one okay here you go so you see how the vehicles are moving like uh, when this one is going so actually based on uh, the traffic signal time uh, uh, you will uh, get uh, the animation from here and I forget to tell one thing so if you would like to improve the level of service of this intersection like it was a C so if you would like to make it B or A you may need to up, uh, adjust the traffic signal times you see the traffic signal times in green yellow red and also all of the values is given here so you may need to do some traffic impact study or traffic operational study to uh, improve uh, or adjust or modify the traffic signal timing all other factors uh, to improve the uh, in level of service of that intersection so that's all if you have any question just uh, comment below or send me an email thank you